Chanel increased their prices again. This price increase went into effect around March 27th, 2024. All the prices are reflected on the website. I checked it last night to confirm. Chanel's been increasing their prices typically about twice a year. I'm seeing it sometime in the spring and sometime in the fall. And this has been trending for the last few years. And I see price increases from around as low as 3%, which is never on the classics, and up to like 10%, which is almost always on the classics. And this price increase was no difference. The classics all got about between a six to 8% increase. Let me, I saw the exact prices and the increases on purse bop. So the small classic, which is this one, went up 8.3%, $800 price increase. The medium classic, which is this one, went up 5.8%. So that was a $600 increase. The jumbo, which is one size bigger than the medium classic, went up 6.3%, the maxi went up 6.9%, the square mini went up 6.3%, so $300, and the classic mini rectangle went up 6.1, which was $300 as well, and then the wallet on chain, which I have the old version, had no increase. But those are the classics. Those typically see the most increase and the small, I don't know why, the small officially went over the $10,000 mark. Like I can't even say it like in a normal voice. I have to say it in a whisper because I can't believe this went up $800. Like that is, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. This is my small that I've had since 2022. This is dark burgundy. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick up the dark burgundy. It is so beautiful in person. I have lights on and I'm in front of like this huge window. So you're not gonna get the true color, but this is a very dark burgundy that it is. But I did a whole video on this if you guys, and I tried to capture like the real color of it. But I bought this small in 2022 and right before I was gonna do this video, I went and looked at, I found the receipt and I looked at the price that I paid in 2022, which is literally just two years ago. Oh gosh, you guys, I paid $2,600 less than it is now. That was just in 2022 and this has gone up over $2,600. Like, oh my gosh, that kind of brings me to my whole thought process on this price increase. Is it still worth it to buy a Chanel? Should you buy a Chanel you've been saving for one of the classics? Should you still do it? And this might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say absolutely. If you are thinking that you want one of these Chanel handbags, one of these classic Chanel handbags, like the medium is probably the most popular, the medium and the small are like two of the most popular. If you're thinking, that you want one of these, I I'm gonna say I still think it is worth it. Yes, they increase constantly. But my thought process is that once you get one and they keep increasing, that's a good investment. Like if I wanted to turn around and sell this, which I don't, at one, at one point I thought, maybe I don't need the small and the medium. And I thought about selling it, but then all these other things kind of got in my way and I just kind of forgot about it. And now I'm like, oh my God, Thank goodness I didn't because I love it. I love it. Like, it's just such a beautiful bag. But if I did want to go sell it right now, I, I probably wouldn't get the exact retail that it's retailing for now, but I could probably get very close to retail or just a little bit below. So I would actually make money on this bag. I, like try to tell my husband this every time I get a Chanel. I'm like, it's a great investment. And he's always like, mm, I don't know about that. But in the past, I have sold Chanel handbags that I bought and been like, mm, I like this, but this isn't like this. 
isn't gonna stay in my collection for a lifetime. It's not a forever bag. And I've turned around and sold it. And I'm like, look, this is what I bought it for. And this is what I got for it. So look how much, like, look, I actually made a profit on this. And I actually got to use the bag and experience the bag and kind of like cross it on my list. Okay, like the Chanel Jumbo, it's a little too heavy for me. Loved the bag, but had to, had to rehome it because it was just a little bit too heavy for me. I don't like really heavy shoulder bags but it went to a great home and somebody else will adore her and love her. And I got like made my money back and still got to experience the bag. I do believe that Chanel's are a great investment. I think these handbags are classic. I think they are like as cliche as it sounds, they are iconic, they are timeless. They might not always be the most popular bag that year, or the next, you know, one year they're like super popular, the next year they are so out, but they are always in style, always. You can never go wrong with just a beautiful classic Chanel handbag. I feel like Chanel, like classic bags used to be only for like special occasions. Like you only wore this when you were going to a wedding or an anniversary dinner or graduation or something super special, but now, People have made this bag their own. They are spending the money on these and they are not just putting these in a little box for special occasions. They are taking them out. When I moved to New York City a very long time ago and I used to go to bar class in the city in the financial district and I went to the 10 a.m. class on my days off, I used to see women wearing the Chanel jumbos to bar class and I was just like, oh my goodness. Like, I thought Chanel, like it shattered my my vision of Chanel because I just always thought they're just for special occasion. They're just special occasion bags, but they're not. They're, people are using them. This bag will take you from your 20s to your 30s, your 40s and beyond, and it will just change with you. I go through phases and sometimes I wanna wear this with like sweatpants or like athle athleisure wear. God, I always have a problem saying that word, athleisure wear. You know, like just the leggings and a sweatshirt and I wanna wear my Chanel. And then sometimes I'm like putting on a nice dress. Let me get dressed up and like, wow. And then I wanna wear my Chanel or I wanna wear my Chanel to the grocery store or the movies or a regular Tuesday night date night. Like I'm not gonna put this, I'm not putting baby in the corner and I'm not putting her in a box. Like I'm going to wear her wherever I want to. And I feel like when you get a Chanel, just people are being so creative with how they style them, how they wear them, where they are wearing them. And they're just always in style. Anytime you see somebody with a Chanel, no matter what they're wearing, I feel like their outfit is automatically elevated. And it's just like, I don't know, when I see a Chanel out in the wild, I'm just like, that just looks cool. I just love that. I love everything about how you put this together. This is just like a random thought, but I feel like there's always been a like luxury house pyramid. And the person, the, the house that's always been at the very top has always been Hermes. Hermes has been at the top, impeccable quality, very high prices, somewhat exclusive, very hard to get their two most popular bags, the Birkin and the Kelly, like almost impossible. Have you guys heard about the lawsuit? <laughs> I know you have. If you're watching this video, I feel like you have. I am very interested to see what the outcome of that lawsuit will be because I definitely could like be a witness. I have experience. I have talked to Hermes sales associates who have told me what I have to do to get a Birkin. Like I can't just go in there and buy one. I have to do all these things before I could get one. So good luck to the people on that lawsuit. And I am interested to see what happens and what the outcome is. Hermes has always been at the top of this pyramid. And I feel like Chanel was right under them, like just right under them. And then there was like everybody else, honestly, in my opinion, it's like everybody else. And what I think Chanel is doing now is Chanel wants to be right next to Hermes. They want to be at the top of the pyramid. It's not like this anymore. It's kind of like, like this, or maybe it's like a, no, it's not a funnel. It's like one of those flat pyramids. It's still a pyramid, but it's just kind of flat on top because there's two and then it goes down. And there's so much outrage because like the, the Chanel Small has now officially gone over the $10,000 mark. Like, oh my God, 
I can't believe you. You are too bougie. And that's new for Chanel customers. Chanel customers are not used to paying 10K for the small or the medium. These price increases have been steadily happening over the past few years, and this is a new thing. Whereas the Hermes customers, a Burke and Eric Kelly, have been over 10K for a very long time. We're very used to those prices. It just is what it is, and people pay them. And then because they're so hard to get, on the pre-love market, they're double in price, sometimes triple. I mean, depending on the type of leather and the color that you're trying to get, the Hermes price is it's just, it's just a widely accepted thing. If you want one, you're gonna pay double the price on the pre-love market, or you're gonna wait and buy a ton, a ton of stuff at Hermes before you can get it, and it's just been accepted. But Chanel is just entering that realm and so there's a lot of pushback, like, oh, another price increase, another this, like, this is outrageous. I'm done with Chanel. I quit Chanel. And I will say, I haven't quit Chanel. I still love the brand. I love the designer house. But I will say, I don't buy as much Chanel as I used to. I don't know if that's just my personal life has gotten in the way. My husband and I are, you know, focused on other things, trying to expand our family. And I don't know if that's why I have kind of scaled back on buying Chanel stuff, or if it's just gotten so expensive now that when I walk into the boutique, I can't just say, ooh, yeah, I like that. Like, maybe I'll take it home with me. No, now it's like, ooh, I like that. Ooh, let me, let me think about it for about six months. My purchases are a lot more thoughtful now at Chanel. I will say, I've got a recommendation here. These two bags. So if you don't want to jump to this insane price point, you wanna start off with a Chanel that isn't going to bankrupt you. These are two of my absolute favorite Chanel handbags that I have in my collection. And this is the small mini square. This is about half the price tag of these two, a little bit more, a little bit less than half. The price of this and this is just a regular Chanel clutch and this is about half the price of the mini square. I am obsessed with this clutch. It's such an adorable easygoing bag. Put it under your arm and go. I don't wear this to like run errands all day but if I'm going to brunch, if I'm going to a dinner, if I am just going to go run like one or two errands or I'm going to an event, I mean, I don't go to like a ton of events, but sometimes I go to like book signings or talking events or something. I, this is such an easy bag to take and wear and you're not gonna overstuff it and put a bunch of stuff because not everything fits in here, but the essentials fit, your wallet, your phone, your keys. This is a great bag. I've seen these on the pre-love market at below retail, great pricing and I'm like, why is this not like the one of the most popular Chanel bags? I feel like this one has been one of my favorites for so long since I got it. I was so lucky. I found this one at Heathrow Airport, European prices several years ago, and fat taxes at the airport. If you guys are planning any summer vacations, route through Heathrow, get your discounts, get your fat tax. Chanel increased the prices. I I still think it's worth it. I still think if you're saving to get one of your classic Chanel handbags, keep going, don't give up. Before I got these classics, I kept buying a bunch of different Chanel styles and I was never quite satisfied because I always wanted the classic. When I think of Chanel, I think of this beautiful black caviar or lambskin leather bag with the gold hardware, the twist lock, the double flap, like that in my mind is Chanel. This is Coco Chanel. Even though Karl Lagerfeld technically designed this one, this is Coco and Karl to me. I don't feel like I was in purse peace or purse heaven or what is that when you finally have all the handbags that you want? I think it's purse peace. I feel like I'm I'm there, I have hit that. I am so happy that I have these in my collection and would I still buy them at this price point if I didn't have these? I think I would. I mean, I don't know if I would buy them at the boutique. I feel like I would go to like Fashion File and get it for like a thousand or so less. But if I was like in Paris and I was at 31 Rue, yeah, I'd be like, yes, we are doing it. Here is the Amex. I still think it's worth it, you guys. Don't stress out. I know there's a lot of negative content out there about the price increase. I don't think it's a negative thing. If you want one of these, save for it. 
get it, appreciate it, rock it, wear it, you know, wear it to yoga, wear it to the grocery store. It is, it's yours and you've accomplished it. I think now the Chanel classics are just like the Birkins and Kellys. I think they are absolutely a splurge. I think they are worth it. And if, if you you know, I say, go for it. I say, go for it. Like period, the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you being here and I will see you on my next one.